that our predecessors had to face. Their hard-won experience gave birth to the tradition, and our own experience has shown that these principles are just as valid today as they were when these traditions were formulated. Our traditions protect us from the internal and external forces that can destroy us. Yeah.
multiple personalities or popularity. Some of our most painful growing experiences have come as a result of decisions made in the name of good conscience. Spiritual principles are never in conflict, they complement each other. The spiritual conscience of a group will never contradict any of our traditions. The second tradition concerns the nature of leadership in NA. We have learned that for our fellowship, leadership by example and by selfless service work. Direction and manipulation fail. We choose not to be president, master, or director. Instead, we have secretaries, treasurers, and representatives. These titles imply service rather than control. Our experience shows that the group becomes an extension of the personality of a leader or member, improving its effectiveness. An atmosphere of recovery in our group is one of our most valued assets, and we must guard it carefully, lest we lose the politics and personality. or in getting the group started sometimes have a hard time letting go. Ego, unfounded pride, and self will destroy a group with given authority. We must remember that offices have been placed in trust, that we are trusted servants, and that at no time do many of us govern. Narcotics Anonymous is a God-given program, and we can maintain our group in dignity only with group conscience and God's love. 52 Narcotics Anonymous Some will resist. However, many will become the role models for the newcomers. The self-seekers soon find that they are on the outside, causing dissension and eventually disaster for themselves. Many of them change. They learn that we can only be governed by a loving God as X. Rest in our group conscience. Tradition 3. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop using. This tradition is important for both the individual and the group. Desire. is the key word. Desire is the basis of our recovery. Recovery to the addict who still suffers, one painful fact of life has emerged again and again. An addict who does not want to stop using does not stop using. They can be analyzed, counseled, reasoned with, prayed over, threatened, beaten, or locked up, but they will not stop until they want to stop. The only thing we ask of our members is that they have this desire. Without it they are doomed, but with it miracles will happen.